go anywhere right now without noticing how beautiful the crab apples are. And if you really want to see an amazing amount of crab apples in bloom, the University of Minnesota Arboretum is in full bloom. And this one behind us is as old as the Arboretum in their 60th year. Planted in 1958, it's a basketong. You know, as everything else in the Arboretum, a lot of the newer varieties have come from trees like that one behind us. What I love about coming here is looking at the variety of colors. It looks beautiful when you have a red next to a white, next to a pink. If you want a crab apple, you should come here, take a walk and around, bring some lunch and check out the crabs. Right, see which one is the right size, the right shape, the right color for your yard. To me, this is perfect. Perfect landscape size, maybe 12 feet high, about 18 feet wide. You can't beat bloom. the color. What was the name of this? Candy mint. Candy mint. Look at that. I really like this one for a couple of reasons. One, I just, I like the white. It's crisp, it's clean. And also I like this one because the branches are higher up off the ground. So, you, you know, you can still be underneath it. This is Beverly. And it's got a really cool, unique you, shape. You could read a book in this one. <laughs> you could right there. Good news, these aren't your grandparents' crab apples. The newer varieties have persistent fruit, which are little small cherry-like fruit that'll either stay on the trees or the birds will get them. Great for the birds as well, and you cannot beat this view behind us. Did you bring uh, lunch? Picnic? We should picnic. Mm. Nope. No? Next time. <laughs> Good luck with that, Laura. <laughs> He found the crabs. Yes, he Bobby did. found the crabs. Well, earlier predictions had called for <laughs> rain for this weekend, but things may be looking up. Laura joins us after the break with a full forecast.